brings two news. Tonight's exclusive will be on the Renaissance. The Renaissance began in Europe in around 1400 to 1600 CE. We have a real treat for you tonight with three exclusive interviews from Renaissance men from the past. Petrarch, Leonardo da Vinci, and Michelangelo have escaped from their graves for this special broadcast tonight. Well, Taylor, I think we should tell them a little bit about the Renaissance first. You're right. Well, Renaissance means rebirth. And it showed how Europe came out of the Dark Ages from the plague and from the church having a decline in power. Right, and the Renaissance was all about humanism and uh, people reaching their full potential in areas <coughs> such as education and art. So let's get started with an interview with Petrarch. I asked for regular. This is a decaf. Taylor, we're still airing. Oh. Back to you, Bobby. <laughs> Go. Thank you, Taylor. We are here now with Mr. Petrarch, and you were known as the father of humanism. What are you most known for in the Renaissance era? I am most known for my ways of Italian literature that I actually created by mm -hmm. myself, and my uh, poetry that mm -hmm. has now been made into uh, music by present-day composers. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, so what type of composer were you? I was, actually, I wasn't a composer. I was a... Uh, I was a, more of a in literary, mm -hmm. and I wrote like po poetry and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I did make some sonnets, mm -hmm. which are kind of like the uh, kind of like the Bible to all the books today. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the very beginning of everything. Mm -hmm. So, Petra, what are some types of works that you have created? Um, I've created some songbooks and some triumphs. Mm -hmm. And uh, and when I wrote them, I actually wrote them in my own language. Really? Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, thank you, Petrarch. Welcome back to Taylor Times 2 in the newsroom. Bobby and Petrarch for that enlightening interview. For those of you who may not know, the Renaissance was con full of people constantly coming up with new ideas in art, literature, mathematics, science, engineering, and several other areas. Next on our show is an important interview with a Renaissance man who is an artist, Michelangelo. Well, now to you, Shane. Thank you, Taylor. Good evening, Michelangelo. Can you have a few questions for me? Why, well, yes, of course. You were known as the, one of the founders of the high renaissance in a, of a renaissance. What is, a, what is a renaissance man? A renaissance man is someone who is very well-rounded in all of their activities that they do. Take myself, for example. I was an Italian sculptor, architect, artist, and a poet. So, therefore, I fulfilled the qualifications of being a renaissance man. How did your family take of this? Uh... Practicing art was seen uh, as being beneath a member of the gentry back then, so my father rejected me for becoming a renaissance man. Thank you, Michelangelo. Now back to you in the studio, Taylor. Thank you, Shane and Michelangelo, for that interview. That was interesting. Now to end our show tonight, we have another interview with a great man from the renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci. Back to you, Bobby. <laughs> No, I'm at work, Mom. Taylor. I gotta go. We're still airing. All right, gotta go, Mom. Bye. Yes, I love you, too. Tell me something. Would you give Da Vinci just one color to paint the Last Supper? No, it would be trite and without meaning. The true genus uses the entire arsenal. This is the Nike Zoom Kobe 3. You can go inside, outside, baseline. Like Leo himself, you'll be a renaissance baller, versatile and relentless. So go buy these sneaks, because they're genius. So Mr. Da Vinci, you are known as one of the greatest renaissance men of your time. Can you tell us about some of your great accomplishments? 
Well, my great accomplishments um, span quite a vast range of, of human endeavors. Uh, I'm basically known as an artist. Uh, this was a picture of me uh, back then. I have since shade. Um, but one of the things I'm most noted for is my picture here of the Mona Lisa. Who, uh, another famous work I've done is The Last Supper. Uh, down here, and uh, this uh, has since been reworked and and cleaned up. Uh, it, it it survived uh, bombings and fires and all sorts of things. Uh, I have invented uh, many many different things, from war machines to uh, uh, flying machines and all sorts of things like that. I've left behind the. Uh, over 10,000 drawings alone. Uh, many of my paintings have not survived. But some say that I, I have been an engineer, a geographer, a musician, a physicist, a botanist. Uh, I dealt with anatomy, which I will get back to. Uh, geologist, geographer, aerodynamic engineer. Uh, so you've done a lot of stuff in your time, haven't you? I have done a lot of things, yes. And is there anything else that people would not know from reading a textbook or anything about you that you can just share from yourself? Well, some of this information is in books. Uh, one thing that people aren't aware of, which would maybe put me uh, in a different classification than that of a genius uh, in some people's mind, is I used to go out quite late at night and steal dead bodies. And uh, I, would, I would take them up to my my uh, studio and dissect them. And uh, I'm sure glad I didn't get caught because I would have probably been put in, in the loony bin. But uh, I learned an awful lot about muscle structures and how the body worked and bone structures, which helped me to be a better painter. To, it showed me how skin lays on things and uh, that sort of uh, Thing. I am just always fascinated by the way things work. So, but I hear today that they cut people open every day. So, yeah. yeah. So maybe what I was doing wasn't so bad after all. Yeah. Well, I hope I've answered all your questions. Well, I'm going to go crawl back in my grave now and take a nap. All right, you have fun. <laughs> Don't roll yet. I'm not. You just started it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I already did. Are you sure? No, I'm not. It, it beeps. I'm just practicing holding it. It beeps. Liar. No, it You're starting Liar. it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Liar. Liar. I know my camera. Liar. Liar. I'm not lying. Are you rolling? No. Are we going to start? Yep. Go ahead. Wait, no. So we are ah. rolling. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> this is record. Shut up. <laughs> all right, all right. Go. Good evening and welcome to Taylor Times News. I'm Taylor 1 and this is Taylor 2. Tonight's exclusive will be on the Renaissance. The Renaissance began in Europe in around 1400 to 1600 CE. We have a treat for you tonight with several exclusive interviews from Renaissance men of our time. Peak chart, Leonardo da Vinci and... Wait, I messed that up, sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> of our yeah. time from the past. Oh, from my God. Our time. Oh. I think we need to practice. But if there's not, you gotta lie to me. I ain't a bunch of liars. Okay, watch us now. Like, pay attention. From right. the Renaissance. Be ready. Ready? Someone Go. Do it? Go. Thank you, Shane and Michelangelo, for that interview. That was really interesting. Now, to end our show tonight, we have an interview with another great man from the Renaissance. Leonardo Back. da Vinci. Back to you, Bobby. God damn it. <laughs>